The Honorable Jane D. Hartley, our former ambassador to France and Monaco, will speak on the subject of the U.S., France, and the EU, and where do we go from here. Bonjour. <laughs> the Institute for the Study of Diplomacy caused a buzz on campus by hosting Jane Hartley, former U.S. ambassador to France. Ambassador Hartley visited Georgetown to talk about her experiences in diplomacy and how French-U.S. relations have evolved since her ambassadorship. I had always loved France and knew from my previous work how important a partner they were. In my visits to Normandy, I saw the enduring gratitude of the French people for our alliance in World War II. At the landmark COP21 conference in Paris, 200 nations agreed to the most ambitious agreement in history to combat climate change. And I was proud to stand up for the values that we share, including the equality of all people, when I was the only foreign ambassador to join thousands of Parisians in their pride march to the, defend the rights of LGBT. The ambassador's lecture was attended by Georgetown students as well as representatives from the Department of State. The audience members had a chance to ask Ambassador Hartley questions. Ambassador, thank you for the conference. Okay. So my question is, what was your connection with France uh, prior to be, being appointed ambassador? I was CEO of, of two different firms. One was called the G7 Group. Uh, we dealt a huge amount with France. Georgetown Buzz had the opportunity to pose more questions to Ambassador Hartley at a press conference with the Caravel and the Georgetown Journal of International Affairs. So when a lot of people think of the daily life of a diplomat, they kind of think of James Bond type of spy. In your experience, is that true? <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself James Bond, but um, no, I, I actually think the work of a diplomat uh, is uh, developing, first of all, an understanding of the issues that you're dealing with, developing an understanding of where the other country, in this case France, is coming from, trying to figure out how you can have common ground, and then having the trust in the relationship to get there. So it's it's kind of the best of soft power. I mean, I think you really, um, you know, some of the things we did with France, um, both in terms of diplomacy and in terms of military, had never been done before. And it's uh, I think it's because we knew we were in it together, we had worked together, and in the end there was a great trust in each other. Viva la France. God bless America. <laughs>